We are the Mustangs, mighty, mighty Mustangs. With four kids, the Wall Home is always a place full of energy. Energy that has to go somewhere when the school year ends. And that's where their mom, Rose, comes in. I don't know. I don't think I have a lot of them written on the calendar yet. Rose Wall might just be the model parent when it comes to planning for summer camp. We have summer all taken care of. But she wasn't always so organized. Originally, when I first started with camps, I, I started fairly late and, and found that we didn't really get our first choice. Now, Rose and her husband start looking in January. So by spring, when some parents are scratching their heads or pulling their hair out over summer camp questions, Rose already knows it's gymnastics camp for Megan and Jennifer. Megan is also going to do a science camp um, through the Maryland Summer Centers and Jennifer's going to do a two-week art camp. Big brother Matt will be spending the entire summer in Australia with people to people. For the homestay, for like two or three days, you get to go and live with one of the families that volunteer in Australia. And for little brother Andy, we are the Mustangs, mighty, mighty Mustangs. It's Cub Scout camp and college for kids. Each year you get to learn um, new stuff. If you haven't made plans for your child, you shouldn't panic. But Sharon Keach of Baltimore Child Magazine says there's no time to waste. Well, I've spoken with a lot of camp directors, and they told me that they get most of their registration, about 75% of their registration, comes in from this, between December and the 1st of March. So what about the 25% who didn't plan ahead? We always uh, kind of dread the last day of school in our, in, at Baltimore's Child because we know that's the day the phone will ring off the hook. Baltimore Magazine publishes its own summer camp issue in February. You may not get your first choice, but there's lots of stuff out there. That stuff includes camps for every kind of sport. Kids who are interested in high-tech things. For musicians or artists who want to do illustrations, sculpture, theater arts. If you're feeling the pressure as the school year ends, here's some advice after you find out what's still available out there. Talk to parents to get referrals. Make sure you match your child's interest with the camp. Find out the experience and training of the camp director and the counselors. If finances are an issue, consider vacation Bible school or recreation department camps. I think they do different ones. Uh -huh. With some careful planning, summer can be a laughing and learning experience for your children. And if you haven't done it yet, the time to start planning is now. Okay. Denise Story, ABC2 News.